Um, hey, where'd he go? We're sorry. Due to technical difficulties, today's Creole play is being put on hold. We thank you for your understanding and hope you come. Holy crap, climbing a mountain is really, really hard. Great Creel man, you have traveled far and wide in your quest to find the Temple of Lost Games. But your journey does not end here. You must face my three trials, three deadly tests before you can look at the treasure. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's, one, that's one way to do it. I finally found it, the greatest game series ever made. Oh hell yeah! Today we're gonna be looking at Tex Murphy. Oh, yeah. 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 What is the Tex Murphy? Well, I'm glad you ask. There's only two things you need to know about Tex Murphy. Number one, it's the greatest thing ever made, and number two, nobody will ever play it because the controls. Dookie, they're doo doo, con they're poo poo controls. You see, it's one of those point and clicky type games, except rather than using the keyboard, you push the mouse forward to move. I, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, let's start off with Under a Killing Moon. Oh, that resolution looks terrible. Let's blow it up here. San Francisco, 2042. The world's a radiated wasteland, and everyone's a Blade Runner fan. Only one thing out of work detective Tex Murphy is down for, and that's being down on his luck. Ain't no work for a PI in this neighborhood. People are too cheap. Oh, hold on. Ah, much better. Look at this fancy interface, though. Uh, it looks like a cash register. It is a cash register. Bam, bam. Bam. And you. There's actually a game before this that isn't as good where you save some girl named Sylvia, but they kind of just retcon the whole thing. I was watching you upholstery and you're so big and strong. Do you really think so? Yeah, one morning I just looked in the mirror and decided I needed to make a few lifestyle changes. Quit smoking, quit drinking. Now I'm getting out of the business. I, I don't yeah, know who this guy is. I think tropics, he has Alzheimer's. Right? So what's up first, text? Uh, stop a diamond heist? Uh, save a dame in trouble? I always like to start the day with a traditional P.I. breakfast. Mmm, <coughs> that hits the spot. Ah, somebody stole a bracelet from the pawn shop across the street. The perfect job for an out-of-work P.I. And this dog looks suspiciously computer-generated. My deductive powers tell me the bracelet's no longer on the premises. Brilliant work, Murphy. You fucking idiot. Get back here and I'll show you where they broke in. Time to search this alleyway for our first set of clues. Mmm, ain't nothing like a good set of clues. Well, here's a basketball. It's not evidence, but we can make it evidence. Not by one. Drop Drop the the it's a 360! Well, we can't find anything back here. I guess we should ask, uh, oh, uh, Chelsea. Chelsea Bando. The real waifu. So why don't you join me for a drink? G Tex, you know, that kind of talk could get you into trouble. But I don't drink with customers. I'd be happy to throw in a chili dog with that drink. Oh, you're really smart, Tex. Yeah, hit her with the chili dog. Well, an offer like that, oh, that's hard to refuse. But no thanks. Luckily, we have a friend in the police force that can give us the insights. Uh, is that you, Grandpa Chris? Making sausage and peppers, Mikey. Huh, it's like some kind of elephant man. What are you staring at? Now my sources tell me that Mick Flem and Rusty the Clown had something to do with the bracelet theft. Don't lie to me, trunk man. I'm a loose cannon cut oh, and the game crash. Word was the two of them were smuggling illegal novelty items from Hong Kong and Rusty Cross Flem. Well I guess we should go to Rusty's funhouse and see if we can ask him some questions. Hey, clown boy, you seen Mick Flem around? Ah, it looks like I'll have to beat it out of you. Okay, we track Mick down to his warehouse and we're gonna get we're gonna give him a little spook now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're under arrest when you, come, when you come back. Also, I'm taking your priceless jade because I'm broke as fuck, dog. Looks like we're living large, Tex. Solved the case and got some you treasure to boot. Hey, facts. shut up back there. We can't take another job. We gotta celebrate solving facts. this case for at least you a few more weeks. Now, let's see what we got here. Uh, Countess Rania. Uh, she can probably count all the way to 100. Your services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend who prefers to remain anonymous. Oh, I've heard the stories, but I can assure you one day he'll face the justice he deserves. She wants us to find some statue that was stolen from her, but the whole thing seems really sketchy. I'll pay your $30,000 finder's fee. Okay, I'll do it. God damn it! If you are successful in your search, it could change my opinion of you considerably. Oh yeah? Is your name Chelsea Bando?
What? Nah, I didn't, I didn't think so. Get the f*** out of here. Nah, it appears an illegal diamond dealer is willing to trade us information on the statue for the precious jade we stole earlier. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. I that's not that. That's not Buster Keaton. Enough fooling around, though. You just get down to business with a bad pun. You may be legit, but I understand you're pretty jaded. And then he tells you that Eddie Ching has the statue. Eddie Ching, huh? Yeah, he's uh, he's probably white. Okay, Kevin, we just gotta decide on what to name the Yakuza boss. I don't know, Chong or Ching or something. I got I got a lot on my mind right now. Let's break in to get the statue. Oh my God, look at those effects. A laser security grid. Good thing I found this hidden ring four levels earlier. I filled it with water randomly and brought it all the way here to throw it at the button on the end of the hall. Maybe this isn't the greatest game of all time. Well, looks like Creel finally brought us back for another sports joke. Yeah, Tom, I was beginning to think he forgot about us, but he might cut it short for some kind of anti -com This must be the Countess statuette. Well, yeah, but how are we gonna get it? It's covered in lasers. Oh, he just pulled this lever here. Oh, the humanity. What? Oh, okay, do not pull that lever. This fucking game. They all use a stick technique, a classic detective move. Well, we got that lady statue back and solved another case. Take a ah! <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Well, like I was saying before, we lost the statue and fucked up another case. Hey, old man, you seen who beat me up? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, you definitely seen him. Uh, who stabbed a you? Chameleon. Uh, he's some kind of shape shifter. Well, yeah, but why? I had a winter chip. The cult wants it. and get it to Capricorn, planning a doomsday party. Uh, I have to put off that trip to the Caribbean. I swear it's the devil himself. Don't fail me, Tex. Dude, what the hell are you talking about? Well, who the hell are you and what are you doing in my office? No one talks to Eddie Ching like that. Well, why don't you bring him by and we'll just see about it. I am Eddie Ching, you moron. Yeah, stupid. Hit it. Go ahead and hit him again. Life is hard, Ching. I was hired to return the statuette to its rightful it's owner. It's gone? You imbecile! The statuette is worthless, except to this cult. And I went to great lengths to keep it from them. And all it took was one idiotic P.I. Damn, she's really pissed at you, Tex. And turns out you might have doomed the world by stealing that statue. Are, uh, are you listening to all this? I guess we'll break into this cult's headquarters. I I, I still don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, we can we, we can just read about him. Uh, let's see here. Crusade for genetic purity. Got some nice wireframe gifts. Oh, Hitler was a big fan. Witness its <laughs> effects on the traitor Paul Dubois. <laughs> My god, they're gonna use the death weed on the entire planet. If they do that, our cartoon water drops will turn into a dead cartoon water drop. Remember me? Yeah, but I remember you being considerably less square the last time we spoke. How about now? So he's the Countess, and she's with... Wait, that means he tried to Change fuck me earlier. You never let a man know where you smoke your cigarettes. He can replace him with poison at any time. That's what my grandma told him. That's for hitting me with a pipe, you son of a bitch. Ah, ah, that's, that's, that's gross, man. Okay, we managed to sneak aboard the cult space station. We just gotta hit the self-destruct button before they destroy the Earth. Uh, it might get a bit dangerous here. What an idiot. They always leave these self-destruct buttons out in the open. Like, what do they think is gonna happen? I don't understand it. The whole system's going haywire. Wow, what a doozy. I wonder what's in store for Tex next time. Uh, I'd probably give Under a Killing Moon about a 7 out of 10. Ah, 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 well, stop, stop, ah. Why does Creel like these games so much? Who is this mysterious assailant? And will the rest of the Tex Murphy series get the coveted 7 out of 10? For the answers to these questions and more, be sure to tune in to the next Creel play, Tex Murphy Games, Part 2, The Pandora Directive.